your Chris 6 weather forecast. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And good news from the U.S. Drought Monitor reflecting the rain from Harold last week across an oasis, Jim Wells, and parts of Duval County. We are not in a drought anymore. It's saying abnormally dry, and we're only about a half inch below normal for the year. But it is extraordinarily dry, extreme to exceptional, from uh, just uh, south of Victoria all the way into Houston, including all of southeast Texas. So that area is being devastated right now by the drought. But right now we're in pretty good shape here in spite of the water shed uh, being a little bit dry, but it has improved there as well over the last three months. Today, we are at 36.3%. We really haven't seen the bump that I thought we would on the rain that uh, the average of two to four inches over most of the watershed last week, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. That's what it was yesterday and in 38.8. The city is releasing water, but they're forced to do that by the TECQ, and you just can't catch up when you do that. So it's uh, unfortunate, but that's the way it is, and we are low. And uh, my forecast for the late summer and fall better come to fruition, or we're going to be in real trouble water-wise here. 72 degrees are overnight low, 99 on the afternoon high today for the second day in a row, failing to reach 100 degrees. That's a good thing. And 94 right now, it's a little breezy out there at 16 miles an hour. And the winds are going to start picking up a little bit, but uh, not really until we get to Monday. 94 uh, right now here, but it's still 103 in George West, 100 for Freer and San Diego. And the feel-like temperature is just 98. The reason that it's down is because the uh, humidity is down primarily because of a land breeze overnight and in the morning and then fairly light winds during the day. Our feel like temperature goes to about 108, so stays below 110 tomorrow uh, through 2 o'clock in the afternoon. On Saturday, uh, a little bit less than that perhaps, around 104, 105, and a little higher, but still not too bad on Sunday. Not too bad compared to what we've had all summer long. All right, here is the wind forecast, and you can see how calm with that light land breeze uh, one's coming off the land to the water at 7 in the morning, then off the water. That's a sea breeze tomorrow afternoon at about 15. Calm again with a light uh, land breeze on Saturday morning. And then that turns around to a light sea breeze at about 10 miles an hour on Saturday afternoon. The wind's less on Saturday, and the heat index forecast is less on Saturday than Friday. There's the ozone action day again for tomorrow with that high levels of ozone. Uh, no weather makers in our neck of the woods. The Gulf is uh, fairly quiet. There's nothing going on in the tropics that's going to bother us. Very dry air is positioned over the region, and that's going to keep it very dry here over the next several days, perhaps a stray shower by the time we get to Wednesday. The uh, heat is dominating with high pressure there, and the tropics, they are active out in the Atlantic with several systems, including the new storm, Jose, but nothing that's going to affect us in the Gulf of Mexico. 98 tomorrow, 97 on Saturday, and then 96 to 97 Sunday through Thursday of next week with only a stray shower next Wednesday. All right, affectionately known as LL Cool G. She's out at Taft uh, Stadium, Greyhound Stadium, and she's up next.